Hello, and welcome to the Sabre Roar. I'm Mr. Nershaw. And I'm Mr. Bobby Ash. And I'm sure you're well aware FHS has been undergoing construction the past few months. And we're here to bring you all the latest construction news in this special episode of... The, the Sabre Roar. Roar! In the class of every great teacher is an even greater set of furniture and educational-based appliances. Mr. Kalevich, an FHS history teacher, has tried out new furniture made by Steelcase. It was recommended by the school's architectural firm as a possible choice for the new classrooms. I like the furniture. Um, it gives me a chance to get students into groups very quickly. It's easy to do collaborative work. Uh, these tables all come equipped with whiteboards. Uh, the whiteboards also give me an opportunity to do very quick uh, formative feedback and see how students are doing on a certain task and be able to redirect them quickly. Currently, Ms. Waring is trying out new furniture for a company called Bedford. Students and teachers' opinions will affect if we see the new furniture in classrooms. Golly gee willikers, I sure do hope I can get my hands on some handy dandy furniture like that. We might all have some super duper desks and chairs like that in the future. Uh, I guess I can always dream. Students and staff had the opportunity to leave their mark on FHS with the beam signing ceremony. FHS recently went through the topping out ceremony where students got the chance to sign a beam before it was placed in the auditorium. Although students will not be able to see their signings on the beam, there is still reason to sign. The idea is that at some point, years and years down the road, if for some reason the building is modified or um, demolished or something like that, there's some reference to uh, the students and the people that were, were there when it was um, put together. Although I didn't sign the beam, I think I left my mark on FHS with my interpretive dance skills. Well, Mr. Bobby, I didn't know you were a dancer. You know what, Chris? There's a lot you don't know about me. For centuries, students have been gazing to the stars, searching for answers and wondering about the price of parking at FHS. We've all heard it before. The price is higher because supply and demand. We had 500 spots. I don't think we could charge $200 a year for them. In accordance with the new referendum, the student lot has been renovated and expanded, and still more student parking may be added near the current teacher lot. So with all these additional spots increasing supply, many students expected the price of parking to drop. I have been told that the price is not going to go down, that it's going to stay the same again to help with the costs associated with keeping the facilities up and running. These costs include general maintenance expenses such as repaving and painting the lot when needed. Luckily, us staff members get to park for free. In years to come, you might see our Franklin Sabres play football on some new turf. The Sabres Stadium Project started to fundraise last year with the goal to raise $2.1 million to start renovating the football field. They hope to add a new synthetic turf field, a full eight-lane competition track, and new stadium lights. This project is completely donor-funded, and the committee that has been running this has been finding new ways to fundraise. They've created a website. They've um, had some different fundraisers. Um, they're the ones that um, solicited the, the city's help. The committee also hopes to begin reaching out to parents from the elementary schools and ask more local businesses for donations. The Sabre Stadium project is very close to reaching their goal of $1 million. Congrats to everyone involved in the fundraising process. Hey, Mr. Nershel. Hey, Mr. Bobby Ash, what's up? Did you hear about the guy who had his whole left side cut off? No, I didn't. Don't worry. He's all right now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the construction of the new FHS facilities is on schedule. The main structure for the auditorium and classrooms have been built. Efforts are now being focused on starting work on the interior structure. The new classroom addition is farther along with completed staircases, concrete floors, and walls to create separate classrooms. The cold weather has not slowed progress. The construction on FHS is expected to be completed by the beginning of the 2015 school year. And now it's time to recognize this week's uproar winners. Welcome to Sabre Roar Action News. I'm your reporter Harrison. This week, we've gotten word that Bailey Mankey has won the Sabre Uproar, and Mr. Bell has nominated her. Let's go find out why. Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell. Hey, why did Bailey Mankey get nominated for Uproar? 
It is about time. My gosh, I've been nominating her every week. What a great kid. She's so positive. She brings so much to my class. I've been nominating her every week, and finally she got selected. Oh, that's great. We got our scoop. Let's go. I nominated Veda Herrera for the Saber Uproar because Veda has been doing just an awesome job. She's been working on lots of different things here at Franklin High School and has been achieving all of her goals. Congratulations, Veda. Congrats to the winners this week. You've made your nation and your people proud. Well, that's all the time we have today for the Saber Roar. I'm Mr. Bobby Out. And I'm Mr. Nershaw. Keep smiling, Franklin. Good luck. Good.